Hello, this is Dr. Michael Myers, Associate Professor of Health Sciences at National University. In this short video presentation, I'm going to demonstrate for you how to create a cross-tabulation or contingency table in StatCrunch. So we commonly call this cross-tabulation. We're looking at two variables and we're seeing which variable is contingent upon the other one. Sometimes this is called a pivot table in Excel, but we can easily do this in StatCrunch by cross-tabulation. And here's an example I have, a very small sample set. It's a vitamin C study with 12 patients. Here, six people took vitamin C, six people took a sugar pill. In our vitamin C group, only one person got sick. In our sugar pill group, four people got sick. So however we code the data, this is really nominal level variables, right? This is categorical level data. In categorical data, we analyze in a contingency table. So to analyze this data in StatCrunch, we simply go to our StatCrunch software, and we see that we have this spreadsheet view where we have rows and variables. Now this analysis, if we do with the data, we're going to create every row is going to be a subject. Along the top part, we're going to put in the labels for our data. So again, I'll backspace, and the first one we can do is put in the variable for the cold status. We can call that cold. We can mark that yes or no whether they got a cold. And of course we have the group that they're in. In this case we could type in vitamin C. Every row is going to be a subject. So the first person we can say that we have six people who took vitamin C. So we can type in yes for that. And again I could have put this into Excel and loaded it into the spreadsheet. But we'll just type the data in since it's so few subjects. And then six people were no, they didn't take the vitamin C, right? They got placebo. So in the cold group, then we can analyze them. So we know that only one person got sick from the vitamin C group, so there's one yes there, and the rest are no's. So we'll type those in. Now with the group that didn't take the vitamin C, we know that four of them got sick. So we have four yeses, and we'll type that in. And two of them didn't get sick, so we type in a no. So again, this is what a coder would do. They would take the data that's given to them. They would put it into the spreadsheet or into StatCrunch. So here we have all of the data entered in. Again, each row is a subject. We have 12 subjects and we have two variables, right? Whether or not they took vitamin C and whether or not they got a cold. So to do the cross tabulation, we can do that very simply in StatCrunch. By clicking on the Stat tab, we go to Tables, Contingency, and with data because we have all the data here. Remember our row variable is going to be the dependent variable. It goes into the rows. In this case the dependent variable or our outcome variable what we're interested in studying is the cold status. So we're going to pick cold. The column variable, the independent variable, what group they're in is going to be the vitamin C. Then we can click down here to display. We want row percent. We'll select. And remember, on a PC, we'll do Control. On the Mac, you'll do Apple. And we click on column percent, percent of total. And the expected count and contribution to chi-square, we're going to leave the rest of this blank, because we're going to do that later when we do hypothesis testing. We'll also click off this chi-square. We're not going to do that yet. Then we simply click Compute, and we have our table. So very quickly, it gives us the cross tabulation. We have the row percent, then column percent. And then to make this look like publication quality, so what you see, for example, in the textbook, here's on page 61 in chapter 4, we want to have the percent within the row. So in this case, it's cross tabulating the PPD diagnosis, the dependent variable, against marital status, the independent variable. Right? We want to study this diagnosis, not whether they're married or not. And so we have the percent within row, percent within column, and percent of total. So then all we have to do is output this into Word. To do that, we're going to just drag over this and right click and copy and paste into Word. So now to make it look like our textbook example, our publication quality, we're just going to add the labels. So again, here in the top, this, this no and yes is their cold status, right? The dependent variable. So we can type that in. 
this no or yes is a group they were in so what we can do is we can right click on this row and just insert insert a row above in Word and then we can just take this these two areas since they're the same thing we're gonna drag over them and right click and click on merge cells and there we'll put the group they're in or whether or not they took vitamin C and then we have the total labeled here on the end so our tables looking like our publication table now to get this one we just return against the first column and we're going to have percent within the row so it's percent within cold status hit return percent within the column so it's percent within the vitamin C group whether or not they took vitamin C return again percent of total then we can just copy and paste this down All right hit return and same thing for the total column so now we have our publication quality table and if we wanted to we could take out these parentheses to make it look perfect but now we have our table that looks just like our textbook one so StatCrunch can very easily create a cross tabulation table tells us lots of information cross tabulates these two variables so for example we know a lot of people who took vitamin C didn't get a cold so we can easily see for example that those who took vitamin C 83.3 percent didn't get a cold in that group and those who did not take vitamin C a lot of them got a cold 66.67 of that group got a cold so again this is a very quick way to get StatCrunch to generate a cross tabulation table for you which you can easily edit in Word. Now the next topic is going to be how do we do this with summary data so for example what do we do when we have just the final numbers well we can do that example the same way with just a little different computation in StatCrunch so again if I go back to my StatCrunch I'll get rid of this one I'll open up a new table and if I do the summary method if I just have all the summary data I'm not going to have a row for each patient. So if I just have the summary data, so the summary of the totals in each one, I can do that in StatCrunch as well. So now what I'm going to do is this first column, I'm going to label as a dependent variable, the one that went in the row. So this is cold status, right? And we have no and yes. The next two columns are going to contain the independent variable. So that's going to be our no and yes on whether or not they took the vitamin C, right? What group they're in. And then we'll construct our table this way. So again, in this group, we had two, two people who didn't take the vitamin C, didn't get a cold, right? And four people who did got a cold. Of the yes group, we had five people were no to the cold, five people were no to the cold, and one. So now we have just the summary data. Again, the first column is going to be the dependent variable categories. The next two columns are going to contain our independent variables, our groups. Now with the summary data, we just click the Stat tab, Tables, Contingency, and now we click with Summary. Again, it calls up the dialog box. Now for the selecting columns, what we're going to select here is the yes and no and remember our row label is the cold status. Again we click the same, the row percent, percent of total and the column percent. We leave the rest blank, we'll click off the chi-square, we're not going to do a test yet, that's coming in week three in this course, and we click compute. And again it generates the same cross tabulation table that we got from doing the raw data. So whether we use the raw data to generate our table or the summary data, we can easily do both in StatCrunch. We can copy and paste this into Word, and we have our cross-tabulation table perfectly ready for publication or submission into your assignment or final project.